Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here from Traders Academy Club. This video is my weekly forecast, market outlook and review uh, for the coming trading week. We are speaking about a week that begins on 27th of March, 2022. I record this video during this weekend a bit earlier due to personal uh, reasons. So you have more time to get yourself ready with these trading ideas. And in today's uh, video, I would share with you two amazing opportunities, the Aussie CAD and the uh, NASDAQ. Uh, and of course, we will review the previous week ideas as well. But before that, if you are new to this channel, welcome to our amazing community. Please subscribe to the channel with the subscribe button below the video. And also I invite you to our trading family, Traders Academy Club, where you will enjoy from, as you can see on this image, full free VIP price action course, real-time trading ideas delivered to you with detailed videos with real-time trading education. Join our family with the link below the video in the description or in the pinned comment. Uh, also, um, as I said before, I will review quickly the previous uh, week um so we were looking we were looking for two ideas if you missed the previous week video make sure to watch it directly in uh, this video right now on the right top corner you will find the link to the previous week uh, outlook and review video or you can find it directly in the channel so we were following two instruments the dollar yen and aussie um kiwi dollar yen we are reaching the levels we were talking about and right now what we want to see is the price slowing down, creating a bearish divergence. So fake highs on the chart, lower highs on the indicator to represent the weakness of the buyers. And this is where I believe a correction would start to take place towards the previous uh, lows um, of, the, of the uptrend. So this was about the uh, dollar yen and the other one for us was the Aussie Kiwi where we were looking to buy the dips. We got a beautiful drop during the week. Then we broke above the volume zone and continue all the way higher. I believe there is much more to go for this pair. So I still remain bullish. Also, it's a great uh, uh, time to say this indicator that you see on the chart, this is the key trading level indicator volume profile based and not only it's a multi time frame scan for key levels uh, and it's uh, available for you completely free so below the video you will find the direct link uh, to download it in the pinned comment okay and there is a pinned comment in the comment section uh, there is a ktl indicator key trading levels indicator follow this website download this indicator and enjoy this absolutely amazing indicator for me, it's a huge help in every trading uh, I do right now and every trading technique I apply. So what do we have for this week? As I said, Aussie, CAD, and the uh, NASDAQ also there. And also, I would like to ask a bit of your help. If you find these videos useful, helpful, educational. First of all, feel free to share with anyone who you think can benefit by watching that. Hit this little like button below the video, drop some feedback um, in the comment section and uh, your help is very much appreciated. Thank you very much in advance to all those of you who take the time to help um, this channel continue and grow. Also, let me know what instruments would you like me to analyze and share with you my trading ideas during the week. Uh, please leave uh, your desired uh, instruments below the video. And if I will find interesting opportunities uh, on this uh, instrument during the week, I will publish my video. So uh, let me know which instruments would you like me to cover below in the comment section. Ozicad would be the first one. For the longer run on the Ozicad, I believe that we are building here a second wave up at least to retest the previous broken uh, high here, or maybe all the way to the previous swing next to the parity level. Uh, but before that, due to the way that the daily chart forms, this is what I think happens. We got this first wave upside, but this high not broken yet. 
Those three higher highs, higher lows that created here an uptrend, the beginning of uptrend and the flip of this high. We flipped to higher highs, right? We've had lower highs, lower lows all the way down. And then we flip to make higher highs in a trending structure. Uh, afterwards, we got the first leg of correction. Never we got the second leg, which makes me think there is a good chance we are moving in sort of a range before it breaks and continues all the way up. Taking this into consideration, going to the lower time frame, and here is a very interesting scenario the way I see that. So we are, as you can see, reducing the momentum, rounding on the very, very, very top, creating here a false breakout followed by a beautiful engulfing, creating here some volume, and we are making lower lows. Besides the lower lows on the short term, we are creating bearish momentum by making lower highs, lower lows, which makes me think that with little pullbacks, we should be enjoying another attempt um, of the sellers to complete the second corrective leg down. Again, within what I expect to be a daily range. Afterwards, once this correction takes place, I believe that's what's coming next. I'm not trying to predict, just sharing with you my analysis and why do I choose the short-term direction uh, within the range before I will flip very likely for a long-term direction again. So this is my first trading opportunity, the Aussie card with a beautiful price action uh, that we see here in the multi time frame analysis combined with the levels. Let me know what do you think about this pair? How do you see this one? Are you bullish? Are you bearish? And what's your expectation from this pair? Uh, drop your uh, feedback in the comment section. The next one for us is the NASDAQ. Very, very interesting opportunity and very promising opportunity. And here is why. So taking a look on the uh, weekly chart after a massive rally, we end up with a divergence. It's a long divergence, as you can see. And for the first time, we flip to make lower lows on the chart, lower lows on the indicator, completed a convergence. With that, we are pulling back and we are next to the weekly volume again. Uh, well, we go to the lower time frame. On the lower time frame, we see the bearish trend uh, took place by making the lower highs, lower lows. And right now, we are completing this correction. So what happens here right now? We are building a bearish hidden divergence, lower highs on the chart, higher highs on the histogram. And that's a great say by the market that very likely the next sell will take place. We have several key levels on the go. We have the series of highs right here. Uh, previous swing high of the downtrend right here. And of course, the key resistance area on the previous uptrend. So all that creates a window of opportunities from my point of view, this is a key range for us. As we get closer, I expect to start and see slow down here. And from there, very likely, we will see the bears taking control. We go to the four hour chart. And as we can see right on the chart, we start to see a slowdown. Look how we round. Look how we got fake highs, right? Lazy highs. Attempt to break, but instant reaction, right? Instant reaction downside. So as it happens and as this divergence is taking place and builds up, I believe that these highs would turn to be fake. And at the moment, we flip to make lower lows and then lower highs. I believe this would be a great opportunity for us and a great read over this price action. This is the price structure we need to see on the chart. It would be a great read that the NASDAQ is ready to begin its move down. And if we manage to find this opportunity here with the flip from higher highs to lower lows and then lower highs, this could give a reasonable risk and great reward opportunity. So looking to sell these rallies on NASDAQ is my trading plan uh, on uh, this one. Let me know how do you see the NASDAQ and what's your um, technical view over, uh, over this instrument. 
So that's pretty much it for uh, this video. I hope you find that uh, again useful. The previous week was a good one with the dollar yen and Aussie Kiwi delivering the moves. Uh, let's see how this next uh, week will go. Uh, and I invite you once again to join our trading family, Traders Academy Club. Enjoy from all our real-time trading ideas and real-time trading education. Enjoy the VIP full price action trading course, our trading community that is available for you 24-7 and much, 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 much more. Join our family with the link below in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you very much for your time watching this video. I wish you a fantastic weekend and wonderful trading week ahead. Uh, and um, I'll see you soon with more videos, more trading ideas, and more educational content. Thanks for your time. All the best to you and yours. Bye for now. Vladimir, Traders Academy Club.